Honey, I didn't used to believe in heaven, honey, until I had one of those Sara Lee microwavable devil's cakes, honey. Honey, that's heaven, honey. Honey. Honey, honey, kettle corn, honey. That's heaven, honey. <laughs> that face is <laughs> rotted. I looked like somebody who went to a final call for this roll of strawberry shortcake and didn't get it and then cried all her makeup off. Tricks in the towel. <laughs> Hi, my name's Susan and I stuff tube socks filled with deli meats and I go door to door trying to sell them for $15.75. Katya, <laughs> hey, welcome to oh. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> in pose, in pose, in pose. <laughs> You know, they say space is the final frontier, but really death is. People are forever obsessed and imaginative about what happens. Yeah. We have no supported knowledge is, no, of what happens. Nothing. Although, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. So, so, so. I thought you were just gonna kick me. No, no, sorry. The doorman to the bar that I used to work at, in the drag bar, had a near-death experience, and this is legit. He pickled his liver, had incredible cirrhosis, his internal, he just bled internally, and he was comatose for like two weeks. He says that people often talk about a white light. He's like, no, it's just darkness. And he came back from the grave. He, like Night of the Living Dead, through the dirt, <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't buried, but he came back like a little bit like... In Massachusetts, how do you, in the hour where they're trying to bring you back to life, they have a grave digger with a shovel of dirt waiting for it to flatline just so we can just... <laughs> I always think of it as just an enveloping blanket of nothingness, blackness, darkness, whatever. Does that come for you? Yeah. Who does death just really affect? Death. It affects the survivors. That's why it's important to leave a, bit, a little bit of change left over for your family in order to celebrate in the most appropriate way. Just five way. or six cents. Five or six cents. And the dead honey, body. Honey, leave a playlist, honey. Because they will not be playing the funky chicken at my <laughs> casketless, <laughs> propped up funeral. <laughs> oh my God, I want to wake where I am on a Barbie stand, like a doll stand, yeah. and I'm like, and not in drag. Not in drag, no. And they've embalmed my body, but taken the head. <laughs> Take it there. Yeah, yeah, no head's head. gone. Yeah, who no needs head. it? I actually want to, I want to, um, someone to rig up a little vape contraction so I can have an open <laughs> casket and vape while Whitney Houston's shoot plays. Okay, how about a few would you rathers? Um, would you rather be classic, uh, burned in a fire or drowned in the ocean? Oh my god. That's a classic question people ask? Yeah, burned at the stake or eaten by a shark. How about that? Burned at the stake because I believe after your skin cells have burned off, you don't feel pain anymore. Yeah, you can also like have a melodramatic moment of like, oh, or American Horror oh. Story, Balenciaga. Yeah, Balenciaga. You can yell Balenciaga. Mine would be like, Not good. and Taylor Loft! <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Banks! <laughs> <laughs> I got Taylor. my shop opportunity at Marshall's! <laughs> it's my money and I want it now! <laughs> have you ever been turned on by the dead? No, have you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're like a blood drinking person, so. I always, this is this is gross. So what I, I, I used to, back in the old, good old blood drinking days, I used to think like, I would be a We've vampire. We've all had them, we've <laughs> all been there. No, I'd be a vampire, and as soon as I sucked all the blood out of the, the guy, I would stick my weenie in his hiney hole, and it would get cold. <laughs> is that not, is that Do not? Do you guys ever feel like you don't know who you're sitting next to? <laughs> Hi, if you're looking to refinance, I can lock you in at a really low rate. <laughs> Um, so, uh, to be honest, I think the best thing we can do about death, the best medicine is laughter. Sure. When I die, y'all better make fun of me. <laughs> the fear of death for me, especially like on an airplane. You know, we ride in airplanes all the damn time. I'm weirdly calmed to that. Because Absolutely. I know, I know that if the plane goes down, bitch, there is there's nothing, nothing I can you do. can do. Except as scream. A, as opposed, a scream makes... Balenciaga! Yeah, 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 the yeah. The ground. My yeah. final words would be, um... Marshall! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, no. Um, what's that great? Club Monaco! Yeah. <laughs> Drink ticket Tuesday at the spot in West Hollywood! <laughs> That's what I was great. Thank you for flying Christian Airlines in yeah. an event of our emergency. Suck on a Capri Sun and know that this is God's plan. <laughs> For our in-flight meals today, we'll be having Fisher loaves. In the event of an emergency, oxygen masks will pop down and be sure to secure yours before the others, unless it's a fetus, secure that one first. <laughs> yeah, fetus. You look like a televangelist. Yes! Linda televangelista. Linda, this is that. This is definitely Linda televangelista. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your money for Jesus H. Christ. 
With just 19 payments of $29.95, you too can secure your place in the front row seat of the afterlife. <laughs> I had, I had born with an astigmatism and it had graduated to cataract. And my cousin Jeffrey prayed for me on the phone Tuesday through Wednesday for two weeks and I had woken up and I opened my eyes. I never had known that my room had wallpaper. <laughs> That greasy preacher had laid his hands on my psoriasis laying skin and it was smoother as <laughs> <laughs> What is your preferred way to go? If you had to die tomorrow, how would you do it? Can I tell you mine? I thought about it. So I have a wedding, I fall in love, and everybody's like, how did you do it? Like, this guy's amazing. And everybody's yeah. super jealous. And I charge $150 for the tickets to my wedding, which takes place on a cliff in Malibu. It's an hour late, and I'm still not there yet. And people are like, what the fuck is going on? They see a helicopter towing a woman in a white dress. And it's a stunt double that I hired, and she falls into the ocean, and everybody thinks I'm dead. Cue a second helicopter that comes in, and I'm hanging from it, but I die for real. And they're like, oh, it's her poem, oh, and they're stunned. Yeah, and then they wait an hour to figure out that I've died. Yeah. And they have to go home just disappointed that they spent yeah. $150. And Tatiana performed the same part, but <laughs> at your wake. <laughs> at your wake. At my wake. Yeah, and she's holding your cut off hands, going, yeah. see you with the hands, yeah. see you with the hands. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what, I would like to go into diabetic shock, and then on the way to the ER, be hit by an insulin truck. <laughs> oh, that's great. Something really like. That's really great. Something where the universe is like, yeah, yeah. You know. that's a good way to go. Do you want to know that you're gonna die? Do you want like, hey, you have a month to live, or do you want like a year to live, or just want it to happen? I just want it to happen. Girl, I would just want it to happen because honestly, to be very, very truthful, I actually feel like every day is my last. I do. You do? I do. I think of it that way, not in an excited way, the way you're saying it. It kind of gets. It kind of. You're like, I think every day is my last one. Tonight's the night. The thing gets me up in the morning is knowing that it's my last time. <laughs> That is. You no, just hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in um, what's it called? Um, um, where they euthanize people who just don't want to live anymore? Assisted suicide. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, I do. Absolutely, I do. If I'm <gasps> diagnosed with the, the stage, assister suicide. Assister suicide. I really believe in giving people the power to kind of end it on their own terms if they are diagnosed with an incurable, insufferable, terrible, horrible terminal disease. It's like a self-abortion. Yeah. Yeah. You say, hey, I brought myself into this world, I'm gonna tear myself out of it. Or whatever. You brought yourself into this world? Yeah, I didn't have no mom. Fuck you, bitch. No. You were inside your mom as a zygote operating her like a robot to fuck your dad? <laughs> That's what you just said! <laughs> I didn't say that! No! Yes, it did, yes, baby! baby. Woo. Um, death does, it, it freaks me out a little bit, but uh... Only, death doesn't scare me, just pain. Just pain. What age do you wanna go out? I either want to live to like 60, call it quits, or just go like, just barrel through to 95. In my, in my young mind, I think that when I stop having sex, I'm going to want to die. But some people think when you get sex out of your mind, then you really start living. You're going to find me a washed up drag queen, fully, signs of the lambs, in my basement, in a kimono, yeah. legs crossed, honey dog. I'd fuck me. Yeah, I'd that's me absolutely going to be me. Yeah. I just want, I want time, it's gonna happen after 40 or 50, I just want a little bit of time to live an eccentric, older lifestyle. And then I'll call it quits, I'll just walk into the forest and never come out. Wow. Yeah. Just, and what happens to you? I'll just blow my brains out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would have nightmares that I keep living. <laughs> Imagine never dying. Ugh. Horrible. Ugh. I used to want Life to be a vampire. Life only has meaning because it doesn't go on forever. I just really, my dying wish is that I don't end up in a studio apartment and with my dead body unfound for several days and then it just explodes <laughs> and then innards drip through the, the ceiling of the uh, apartment below me. Well, no, a cat will eat your face. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, that's all we have time for, folks. Tune in to next week where we'll talk about how to f*** yourself with a rake. Uh, our next episode is, uh, hey, I've died. Now what? Don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presence. Let's try that again. Before you die. Yeah. Yeah. Cheat death by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hey, are you looking to not die or at least subside the feeling that you are dying? Well, why Click don't you subscribe. Go ahead <laughs> subscribe, it could save your life. Yeah, you're probably a bitch too. You're a bitch.